Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to generate a bar graph using the IBM SPSS software. I will use a data set that includes uh, 40 data lines representing 40 individuals. You can see here that we have 40 observations. For each individual we have an ID, age, IQ, gender, and ethnicity. So as you know by now, for bar charts, we need to use a categorical variable. So I'm going to use ethnicity to create a bar chart. There are two ways to create a bar chart in SPSS. Uh, one way, which is the simplest way, is to go to Analyze, go to Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and then here on the left side, you will see a list of all the variables in the data set. From this list, I'm going to select ethnicity, which is the variable that I want to use, and move it on the right side. The list on the right side uh, represents the list of variables that you want to use for these analysis. I'm going to use only one variable for now. You also have a list of buttons here, which allow you to select different options. I'm going to click on charts. And as you can see, I can request either a bar chart, a pie chart, or a histogram. Be very careful because histograms would not be appropriate for this variable. Histograms should only be used with quantitative or continuous variables. We are working here with a categorical variable. So I'm going to select a bar chart now. So I'm going to click continue. Um, you also have the option to request APA style tables, which is very nice. So I'm going to check this and then click OK. In my output, you can see that I have obtained a bar chart and I also have a frequency table giving me um, the number of individuals in each category, as well as the percentage that this number represents out of the total number of individuals in the sample. Another way to create a bar chart in SPSS is to go to the Analyze menu, I'm sorry, the Graphs menu, and then click on Chart Builder. You will get a warning message here um, asking you to be careful that you will use the appropriate type of variables for the appropriate uh, types of graphs. Uh, you have the option of uh, checking this uh, to not see this again, or you can just click OK and move on. Um, this, as you can see, gives you a lot more options for creating charts. You have a list of different types of charts here on the left side. Um, I'm going to select bar charts. From the list of bar charts, I'm going to select the type of bar chart that I want. I'm going to use the first one and then drag it into this area. This area gives you a preview of what the bar chart would look like. Um, from the list of variables, you should select the variable that you want to use for this chart. I'm going to select ethnicity and drag it onto the X axis. So here you can you you have a preview and get an idea of what the bar chart would look like. It's not the entire graph, but just um, a preview, just the first columns. And then you can click OK. And in your output window, you have another bar chart. The results are exactly the same here. So you can see that the columns have exactly the same height in the two bar charts. It's just the format that is a little bit different when we're using um, the second option. 